So today I want to offer something so simple. The definition of love. Simple, right? <laughs> like, is that the most complex topic ever? Like, first of all, how many different kinds of love are there? There's like that friendship that's an intimate friendship where the love is not just like familial, like it's a little bit more than that. Um, not that it's sexual, but there are elements of intimacy that are not in your regular friendship relationships. Then there's regular friendship love. There's the intimate romantic love that you shared maybe with a partner that you once had. Like, I will always care and love my ex, but uh, the romantic side of that love has morphed into just great care and respect for each other. And then, you know, there's the teenage part of me that really defined love is like if you were not either in the complete throes of passion or about to hang yourself in the bathroom, that that wasn't love. That there, if there was no drama, dramatic movement of your heart slamming from side to side to up to down, that was not love. Or it was like, you know, you were settling or it was boring. And, and so the concept of being content in a healthy partnership, very new to me, brand new to me, in fact. Um, all of my uh, relationships in the past have included either some piece of really poor health um, or a factor where it's really untenable and I decided to look away. So in the relationship I'm in now, it's not perfect, but um, the honesty at which we have some pretty tough conversations is uh, completely moving to me. I've never had someone come through in honesty the way that my man does for me. So what I ask you is where I used to value passion as number one now. It's up there. I would not be in a relationship without passion, but... Passion without trust coming first is empty. First of all, you'll never commit yourself all the way to have as much passion as you could have if you trusted. Because all great opening for women, both physically, emotionally, sexually, comes from trust. It comes from feeling I don't want to just say safe because safety adds like gives this connotation where it's safe. It's you're playing it safe. That's not what I mean. You need to feel that if you open yourself all the way and maybe even go too far that you've got someone, this goes back to the video that I did about holding space for your woman, that you can hold her together and you in fact will invite her to open more and more because you know that you will show up with her and hold her there. Um, and so this is something that comes with practice and, and obviously trust first. Uh, but it is something that you can practice to open more and more of in your relationship. The more that you root down into trust and the more that you are able to open to each other to a new place physically with each encounter will bring you to a new place every time. And, and you know, for me, just when I think like I, I could predict like where we go and what we like, it changes again. And it's astonishing to me that it changes so often, so rapidly, and always with um, honesty at the core, you know? There's all different tempos of love, you know, there's there's animal lust, there's sweet, you know, um, softer love, and all of those have a place. I personally think the best love has elements of all of those in there to make it the most primal, most experience where you are experiencing it from the most core part of you the more you can open to the innermost part of you both good and bad and bring that all to the bed alongside inviting the presence of the divine there you will have an altogether different experience I've talked before about inviting God into the bed with you and what I really mean is not like a threesome where an image of you know, your old school image of God is observing you. It's kind of an interesting topic too, but that's not what I mean. What I mean is that you are both imbued with your relationship with the divine, as is your partner, and then you bring that together in a place of complete trust and opening to each other and being open to that energy that both of you create together. 
you're going to feel something different. And that third kind of element and energetic feeling is God's present in the room, presence in the room with you. And it becomes elevating and humbling and deepening and beautiful. So what I offer you today is the next time that you are with your partner together and the intimacy has begun, see if you can both go someplace a little more open. See if you can go someplace a little more vulnerable. And also see if you feel that energy that, so there's your energy, there's their energy, and it's what you create together that can kind of become its own entity and fills your union with its own individual energy. It's kind of like the Kundalini that you possess and the Kundalini that he possesses goes into that DNA-shaped swirl and grows from there exponentially. And it is such a special thing. And honestly, you bring it through by being vulnerable and open. So that's what I offer you today to perhaps start that exploration and inquiry. And even if you don't get all the way there, the practicing is really fun. So that's what I leave you with today. And I will see you tomorrow.